Hello, Justin here, here in my vehicle. Just finished up at Superstore, picked up a little bit of water and some instant noodles for a snack tonight while I'm out looking around. Reporting on the highway, highway number one. So it is currently 6.02 p.m. and it is a Friday evening and I am on my way, approximately 20 to 25 minutes away from Kananaskis. I'm gonna go look around and um, hopefully find some spots for potential photo shoot locations for couples in the, in the summer. Um, so that's going to be kicking up pretty soon, so just want to grab and, and get an idea of some good spots. We'll, uh, keep on uh, driving now. Alright, we are now in Kananaskis country as you may have seen through the signs. If we look to our right over here, you can see most of the mountains down there. So there's probably just a few more minutes of driving and then we'll probably pull over somewhere. We'll see, take a look. Get a few shots of that up there. Looks pretty awesome. No card and cover. Picked up this Pelican case at Mech. Pretty good stuff. Store all my batteries and my memory cards in here now. Really handy. Get back in there. All right, insert SD card, take photo. As I was driving, there was a truck that gave me a heads up that there's little Bambies over there, but they're running away from me. Ugh, zoom faster. Ah. Well, here they are, just looking. That is why you drive speed limit, my friends, and you pay attention on the road for friendly truck drivers who let you know that there's Bambies on the road. Anyways, gonna make a stop here. 
get some shots of the mountains back there. So. on. <laughs> so I just found a pond area that I have never heard of. I forgot what it's called. It's like Loretta Pond. Ponds or something. Loretta Ponds. Uh, I'll take a look. There's a person here with me too. Okie doke. Let's just take a look. out the uh, ponds. All right, here we are. It's called Mount Lorette Ponds. Here we are at Mount Lorette Ponds. It is so far stunning. Take a look. Mount Lorette Ponds. Okay, cool. Oh. Kind of cute, and a little bridge over there, uh, and little docks. Okay, I think I see a selfie opportunity right over there. I'll stand right there. Hopefully. That works. So I'll just go set that up right now. Alright, triggers. So normally I would want to put my polarizer on, but I actually don't have a polarizer for this lens. Good test shot here. That looks super good. And now I'm going to run over there for the so. So I just found another spot that I'm wanting to take a photo at and I'm just gonna snap a few shots here. One thing I do wish though, I wish I um, had some filters for this lens over here, the 24 to 70. I only have a filter set for my 16 to 35 and I'll maybe bring that out in a second but uh, I find that this range for landscape is really ideal. You can get in a little tighter, or a lot tighter. All right, so I am now heading back to the car because it's getting a little dark and there's not a whole lot of light left besides for some clouds from the sun sunset right behind me over there it's pretty nice but uh i don't know i'm getting kind of cold and uh hungry so i'm just gonna go back to the car and 
drive somewhere and make some noodles or something and hang out. back in the forerunner let's go eat some noodles get some boiling water okie doke so grab my burner Some chicken flavored noodles. I totally forgot to bring any kind of utensils and 